Things are getting so bad for Disney merchandise that major retailers are clearancing it just to get it out of the stores, no matter how new it is. And some of this stuff is fresh off the truck. But it comes from Disney, which means retailers don't want it because it will never sell. The following is a world-class Bullshitters exclusive. Stealing Solo asks the greatest what-if question of all time. What if a group of disgruntled Star Wars fans kidnap Harrison Ford and force him to remake Star Wars in their basement? That, and a whole lot more, is answered in Stealing Solo, a Captain's parody. Stealing Solo has been called Laugh Out Loud Funny and the greatest Star Wars parody since Spaceballs, and it's available now for a limited time only. Go to StealingSolo.com, which is powered by Shopify, so you get the reward-winning safety and security, and get yourselves a copy today. Once we sell through this limited backstock, I'm going back to the drawing board to bring you the sequel, which parodies Luke Skywalker's Fall from Grace, and finally the closing chapter, which I can't wait to get to, Frankenfisher, the Bride of Solo. And yes, it's exactly what you think it is. So folks, the only way to get that is go to StealingSolo.com right now, get yourselves a copy, and enjoy the greatest Star Wars parody since Spaceballs. So we start today's journey through Toyland at Target, where the Star Wars section, well, Indiana Jones, well, the Lucasfilm section looks pretty full. But there's more on that in just a moment. We have Han, we have Leia, we have Lando. It is the 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi. I bought two of those little Han Solos in another store. But uh, that's pretty much what we have represented here is the 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi and The Mandalorian Season 2. Ah, Boba Fett. He uh, may have to come back with me. But the character who's not coming back with me is Reva. Sorry, Reva. And sorry, Ahsoka. You're just too boring to buy. So over here in the Marvel section, and the Lucasfilm section, as you'll notice, everything's on clearance. First off, Indiana Jones is gone from this store, outside of that one figure you saw, meaning in 90 days, almost all of Indiana Jones's retail presence is gone. And that's quite a record. 90 days in a movie seems like it doesn't even exist. So let's actually go over to this aisle right here, where we have the Marvel section proper, and you can see that this stuff is on clearance. 30 to 50 to sometimes 70% off. And this is an old merchandise that's been on the shelves for months and months, nearly years. No, this is fairly new stuff that they're trying to get rid of because nothing from Disney is currently selling. Down here, we have 50% off of this Scroll 2 pack with spider woman scroll and king scroll and well nobody wants him we have some other two packs that did sell like hawkeye and his motorcycle isn't it sad that the only way a marvel toy can sell is when it's 50 percent off i guess that goes to show you its true value but uh let's just move on shall we there's all sorts of marvel legends figures that no one is buying this packaging was a terrible decision I'm glad that Hasbro's going back. But check this out. Guardians of the Galaxy 3. That's the newest movie. You're going to see a lot of Guardians of the Galaxy 3 later on in this video. Be prepared, folks. It's kind of funny. The newest MCU film and how they want to get that out of the store quickly. This is another Target where the same deals are going on. And they have uh, similar style characters. They have a lot of Ultrons. They have half-ass Spider-Women. They have Captain Marvel. Hey, Captain Marvel, let's take a look at you, shall we? There's a video we made about this figure a while ago when people were gushing over it, and now it's on clearance, and people aren't buying it. Well, speak with your wallet, folks. Vote with your wallet if you really want more Captain Marvel. <laughs> Buy more Captain Marvel. Uh, I, I don't... Hey, Miles Morales is on the shelves, too. Great. All the crappy B-list characters are here, and Ultron. Sorry, Ultron, I bought your first release. I don't need another one. 12.49 down from 24.99. 25 dollars for an action figure is just far too much. I'm a collector. I buy stuff I like. I get it. I'm an adult buying toys, but I don't like these figures. I don't like these characters, and I don't even think I'd spend five to ten dollars on them. Hell, I could get this Guardians figure for 3.59. Well, I could, but people bought it at that price. And look at this Groot. Originally nearly 30 dollars, now eight dollars 39 cents. Man. I'm sure all the execs at Disney are really excited to see how low their toys sell for. 
Now I feel bad for the retailers that get stuck with this crap. They gotta pay a certain price, and then the rest, now it's on to us. Aren't we the real victims here? We're subjected to all this crap. Like, uh, this Captain Marvel Doctor Doom 2-pack from Secret Wars of the 1980s. The good Secret Wars. And this is what you get for $50 retail. Her with two hands extra. Him with some other stuff. And this beautiful John Romita artwork on the side. R.I.P. John. On the way out of Target, we had a wall of Buzz Lightyear's. I love Buzz Lightyear. A lot of Buzz Lightyear. But I just wanted to put a spotlight on this Young Jedi series. I don't really have a comment or an opinion on this because it's for little kids, but nearly $50 for that spaceship seems kind of crazy. I wonder why kids aren't getting into Star Wars. And just for the record, here's the Little Mermaid section. Now I wanted to show you a store that's not running the sales on Marvel Legends figures, and this is what you find. You find characters like Miss Marvel, Egghead, uh... African American, aka Black Spider Woman, you know, the characters that nobody wants. And these have been on the shelves for many months, in the case of Miss Marvel, a year plus, just like this Black Panther stuff. What is that, a 2021 release? Awesome. Well, we'll go across the street to Ollie's and we'll see it for discounted prices. But let's check out the toy aisles we're walking by and let's see how many Revas they have left. Um, that's Boba Fett, Obi Wan Kenobi. Um, yeah, they don't have Reva anymore. I don't know what happened. I don't know who bought it, but uh, Reva's gone. Now, here in the discount section, they have these Star Wars... They're not micro-machines, but they're mini-ships. And we have the Imperial Troop Transport, which was a toy, then adapted for the show, and now a toy again. Toyception, if you will. And there's Slave One, giving it its original name. And this Adat Walker is pretty cool. Do you say at at walker or ATST? Let me know down in the comments below. Neither way is wrong. Ah, the Razor Crest. RIP an awesome ship that was gone far too soon. Leave it to Disney to destroy a ship that Hasbro just crowdfunded, and now collectors don't want it anymore because it's no longer on the show. Oh, hi Roman Reigns. Eat a dick. On my way out, I caught, well, Miss Marvel from the Marvels. Awesome. Here's Marvel's 2023 line of an action figure form. There's Photon, Ant-Man, and we have multiple Captain Marvels in the back. Man, this is going to be a fun toy to find at Ollie's in the future with mountains of them. Ooh, Black Widow. I mean, Black Panther. Now, here's our first stop at Ollie's, and this is only one part of their Christmas haul. And they have Han Solo. That's a rarity to see Han Solo on store shelves here. But... We have tons and tons of Black Panther Wakanda Forever shit. Like I always say, Wakanda Forever on store shelves. We have Shuri Copters and Spears and... Oh, new helmets! All right, the Iron Heart Helmet. This is the most highly anticipated toy of the season. It's been out for years, so now they have to trickle it down to the poor kids. And look, you can get Shuri and the ladies, and this thing even has braids built into it. Imagine being a kid asking for an Iron Man mask, and you get this thing. No kid deserves to be treated like that. Parents, don't be cheap. Don't buy your kids Wakanda Forever toys. They don't want them. They don't even know they exist. But there's a lot of them here at Ollie's. And, well, I'll make you a Duke's Brothers bet. They're still here after the holidays. There's Deadeye Chewie and his aviators from Solo, A Star Wars Story. And if you look to the right, there's the version from The Last Jedi. It didn't work the first time. It didn't work the second time. That's why it's on clearance here at Ollie's. Man, Star Wars used to be an awesome brand, and now you just wait to see how low it can be sold for. Now, Admiral Holdo's never going to sell, so let's just move on. i got to get these hand figures for somebody. I keep forgetting to pick them up. <sighs> the Eternals, eternally on store shelves. And old Wong. Hmm. So, in another section of the store, they had all of these Ronin the Accusers. There's a lot of Ronin, if you ask me. Too many Ronin. One Ronin's too many. I don't dislike the character, I just don't want this toy. But this is what it looks like up close. It's from the Studios Collection, the 10th anniversary. You know, the movies were done. Let's just make figures based on the movies we didn't make back in the day. So, we have Shang-Chi. Ooh, Lightyear. We'll get over to that in just a minute. But... This was pretty cool. Really wasn't worth the price on clearance either, but Ghosts and Goblins. I almost said Dungeons and Dragons. 
Ghosts and Goblins is a hard game. Never really beat that game. Then again, I was a kid, so maybe I should try as an adult. Speaking of adults, this is a collector's line for adults, and here's the White Vision. And let's just put him down. Gotta love all these Shang-Chi toys popping up at this new Ollie's location. Man, to be a kid on Christmas 2023, I got Shang-Chi and Eternals toys. My parents didn't like me. <laughs> Sorry, Timmy, it was a rough year for us all. Let's check out the Barbie section. Nope. What else we got over here? More random shit. More random crap. And more Shang-Chi. But check this out. We found the rest of the visions. And this thing is jacked up. I don't think this one specifically will ever move. I'm going to come back to this location in the future and see if this damaged vision is still here. Uh, folks, hashtag damaged vision. Speaking of damaged, this is how you damage Thor. Jane Foster. I'd say R.I.P., but I just don't care. At all. And Lightyear, the film no one cared about. One of the most expensive flops in Pixar history. Sorry, Buzz. Sorry. Now, this is all new, all different. It's just more Star Wars toys, and Obi-Wan has finally hit discount retail. There are dozens and dozens of Grand Inquisitors and Obi-Wan Kenobis. I'm on the hunt for Reva. Once they put out the Reva figures, those will never leave store shelves. Whoever made that forceful edict to make Reva an action figure, you should be fired, but you probably won't be. Man, Space Jesus is very abundant right here. There's just tons of him and the Inquisitors. I'm still on that hunt for Reva. Didn't find her yet. Now let's take a closer look at Obi-Wan Kenobi. He's the Wandering Jedi. That's his name now. Wandering Jedi Obi-Wan. He comes with a lightsaber, a gun, a little tunic, and he's $4. I get that he was meant to look like a vintage Star Wars figure, but I'd just rather have a real vintage Star Wars figure. Now the Death Star droid and R2-D2 are pretty cool, but, I mean, it's R2-D2. What else is there to say about him? Ah, the Eternals... Whatever you call this toy, that has never sold. And those Black Panther figures are right alongside those Last Jedi toys that have been there for years. And now we can add Fantastic Four, the Falcon, and Moff Gideon from The Mandalorian. Now, these three specific lines have been here for a minute, but they're going to be here to stay. Now, this is just a quick check-in on the Shang-Chi wall. That never sells. Like I said last time, folks, these toys don't really move... They just move them around the store to make them look like they sell. Unlike Captain Marvel, they've given up on her. Do you like Green Hornet? I don't really get to talk about the Green Hornet at all, but I used to love that show as a kid. It's got a great theme song, Kato's the Man, and that episode where they met Batman and Robin is still one of the coolest crossovers ever. If you haven't watched it, check it out. I highly recommend it. Lots of Marvel hero clicks, and lots of Wakanda Forever Monopolies. Yes, that's a Miss Marvel. And yes, these are over at Target right now. These were those Hot Wheels skate with the little shoes. And they got a lot of Captain Marvel ones. And uh, Spider-Gwen, they got her too. And Black Panther, and Spidey, and Iron Man. It just breaks my heart to see... Actually, I don't care. These are dumb toys. <laughs> Speaking of dumb toys, this red skull with a tesseract in his chest, that's kind of dumb. But this is the dumbest toy of all time, LeBron James. What a waste. Now, on the way out, I wanted to check this out because it caught my eye. This is an entire case of one figure. Who is that one figure? Well, it's Ponda Baba. Yes, he comes with multiple forms of severed arms, different hands for accuracy, and his, uh, Carillion Space Ale. Not a bad toy, but a random Ponda Baba? Who needs a random Ponda Baba? Well, I found a random Ponda Baba underneath all this Beast Wars stuff. 
And who do we have here? Another random pond of Baba. Man, there are a lot of these things just sprinkled everywhere. Who do we got back here? Um, ah, here we go. Another random pond of Baba. No, it's Holdo. Ugh. Put her back. Now, we all love books, and uh, this book caught my eye. I've never seen it before. It's Star Wars The Last Jedi Movie Theater Storybook and Movie Projector with Rose Tico on the cover. Hi, Potato Sack. Good to see you again. It projects 20 images. Let's flip it over. Relive Star Wars The Last Jedi at home. No. No. Now, this is another outlet discount cheap store trying to be kind and polite, but uh, you'll notice they have Guardians of the Galaxy 3 in abundance. We have a row full of Nebula figures. We have Star-Lord and more Nebula figures. We have Drax and Star-Lord and Nebula. Oh my! Now, there is one weird thing I did notice about these figures. Star-Lord is $13. Let's put him up here. Then we have Drax. And Drax is only $11. And Nebula is $12.99. Now, the one penny discrepancy is no issue, but why are they all priced differently? Is Star-Lord that much more valuable? He doesn't come with any accessories. Maybe it's the Chris Pratt Premium, or maybe it's just because the store marked it incorrectly. But I find it weird. But this wouldn't be the only Marvel and Disney merchandise that I found at this store. Looking down here, we see more Guardians, but that's not what I'm going for. Ah, Wolverine. The brown suit Wolverine. What do you prefer, the brown suit Wolverine or the tiger stripe yellow and blue Wolverine? Let me know in the comments below. Yes, Snoke is still here on the shelves. This is an old toy, and nobody ever bought it. And <laughs> nobody's buying that. I paid full price for this Wonder Man. I'm kind of pissed off. I was so excited to get the toy. I loved that design, and I could have got it for nothing. Now, we have Black Adam. He'll be on store shelves forever. Black Adam, Black Panther... They're all the same to me. Now, last time you saw the Boba Fett model, and now we have the Mandalorian model. And the Mandalorian model's pretty damn cool. So cool, in fact, that I took one home. Ah, oh, Baby Yoda. Another variety of the same damn toy. This one in a literal sack. Awesome. So if you want to dress up as Rose Tico and match with a Baby Yoda, you'll be two potato sack wearing motherfuckers. A match made in space. And the Ewoks are still not that popular. And there's Ahsoka as well. Folks, don't pay full price for Ahsoka. Go to your clearance outlet store. No one will know the difference. It's Ahsoka. Fake Boba Fett. And ah, Buzz Lightyear. Now, I'm not really here to show you the Marvel or the Star Wars, anything from Disney. There's something specific I wanted to show you at this store. Just indulge me for a moment as we go through all the other toys, the McFarlane toys, the other DC toys made by Spin Masters. We're entering into Star Wars country, folks. And this is what I wanted to show you. Not Reva. We'll deal with her in a moment. This. I never get to see these in person, but this is a swap. This is not Kevin Nash. This is an Undertaker figure with a random-ass shirt. <sighs> I wish retailers would pay attention to what they take back. But, oh well, it made me chuckle and it made it into this video. Speaking of making it into this video, another Reva and another Reva! You want big Reva or little Reva? Or no Reva? I'll take no Reva. We all win that way. Now we're about to hit the jackpot of something funny, but first, more Baby Yoda! God. Remember three, four, five? Uh, four years ago when The Mandalorian debuted and everyone thought, man, this is what's going to fix and save Star Wars. Nope. The damage is done. And there's another Baby Yoda. And that one, his mouth opens up and talks and eats and all this other shit. But, ooh, Captain America's shield. We'll look at that in a moment. And look, folks, Dave Filoni, the man who was going to save Star Wars, is the man who's on the clearance. Great. Great, Dave. I love your work. <laughs> This mission fleet, man, they overproduced the hell out of the mission fleet. Nobody wanted a random, obscure Star Wars size. Now, I'm surprised these are available for 39 bucks. It's a hell of a deal. I took one home myself, and I rarely buy the stuff in the videos. 
but I had to have a Captain America shield. This is regularly a hundred bucks, which is really stupid and overpriced, but I liked the stealth suit. I loved the Winter Soldier movie, so why not take the shield home? Now, I didn't take this Dave Filoni helmet home with me because if it's not Luke Skywalker, I'm not buying it, but we have all these lights and features and a heads-up display, and it used to be a hundred dollars and change, but now it's only $29.99. That's what I think it's worth. So, folks, if you think this crap is only worth $29.99, well, just wait to go to Ollie's. It'll all get there eventually, just like this Imperial Death Trooper from Rogue One. Man, the troop builders were probably pissed they paid full price for this stuff. One last look at this Star Wars mountain. I never thought the Star Wars supply would be so big. Oh, Chewbacca! I don't think we've seen Chewie in a while. Let's just uh, put his co-pilot, Han Solo, right there with him, and they can be dead forever together. More random Ponda Babas, more Deadeye Chewies. Oh god, it's gonna haunt my dreams. Or nightmares. God, look at all these helmets. Like I said, folks, do not punish your children by buying them Ironheart stuff. Just don't buy them anything. It's the thought that counts, right? All these Molniers are here, too. All this Black Panther stuff. The spears. The nerf. You know, they say it's nerf or nothing. If it comes to Black Panther nerf, I'd rather have nothing myself. Now, they say this is $24.99 at other stores. Nobody wants this crap anymore. They've thrown it out to the dumpsters. <laughs> so... It's only theirs at Ollie's. Man, Hasbro really shit the bed. There's G.I. Joe, there's Transformers, there's Beast Wars. Remember Beast Wars? If you watched Beast Wars, let me know in the comment below. And here we find our first sighting of Obi-Wan. Now we have Obi-Wan and the Mandalorian vintage retro figures. Maybe this wasn't the best idea, Hasbro. Maybe people didn't want to buy this crap. Or they did when they were based off the original trilogy characters, and you can't find those anywhere. But you can still find these bad boys, like Obi-Wan and the Grand Inquisitor, and R2-D2 with the sensor scope. That's a pretty cool one. That's vintage collection. But Space Jesus and the Grand Inquisitor are readily available at Ollie's across the country. I wonder how long they're going to stay on shelves. Are there that many retro Obi-Wan fans? I don't think so. And the Die Hard fans, they couldn't wait, so they bought this stuff as soon as it dropped. Like the Ghosts and Goblins figures, we have Hellboy, and those are pretty cool. Again, they're still pricey for what they are. I just don't like five POA figures. I don't like the High Evolutionary, especially because I paid full price for it. That pisses me off to see this stuff. Now we have more of the Boba Fett models from last time. But just look at the sheer number of them. I feel like they've multiplied. Let's uh, let's go a little deeper, shall we? Inception style. Those will be here for a while. But let's look at something we've never looked at here on the channel. Star Trek Discovery merchandise. There's Mikey Burnham right there. I'm sorry, Star Trek fans. You have suffered a lot along with us Star Wars fans. And let's just call it permanent truce. Fans united. The random Marvel wall doesn't really move. You have an abundant amount of America Chavez, Eternals, Carl Mordo, uh, Wong, all of them. And now this Black Panther section, I think they've moved like five action figures over like four months. So that's cool. That's impressive. That's going to really save the business. And we have more Wakanda Forever and Thor Love and Thunder. Man, Phase 3 sucked. Or wait, Phase 4. Phase 4, that's the bad one. I can't remember the phases anymore. I just don't care. Ah, Holdo. And all of the Holdos are still here. If that one wouldn't sell at GameStop, what's going to make people think that all of these are ever going to move? Is there going to be a Surge in demand for a purple-haired lady? Doubt it. Now let's just walk out of the store where Ray is. Hashtag where's Ray? Hashtag there's Ray. 
Twitter's dumb at times, and most times. More of our skateboard pals, more Shang-Chi that spin, more Captain Marvel. If Disappointment has a face or a name, it should be Captain Marvel. This is just a shrine to the disappointment that is Disney. They bought up all the properties, they own all the best IPs, and this is what they do with it. Thanks. So folks, what did you think of the outcome of all this retail rating? Now this isn't everything that's coming out for Christmas. I talk to these stores when I go in there and film. And the lady at the counter told me that this isn't all of it, there's more coming. So folks, that means there'll be more content from world-class bullshitters. So make sure you hit that thumbs up button to let YouTube know that you want more from us. And don't worry, we're going to make it for you all the time. Follow us on social media. We're on Facebook. We're on Instagram. We're on Twitter. We're on X, which is Twitter. And we're also on Rumble. So follow us across all those platforms to make sure you get all the updates on world-class bullshitters. Join us on Tuesdays at 9 p.m. for our live show, The High Council. Join us at 8.30 p.m. on Thursdays for the WCBS podcast. We're almost to episode 375. So join us live each and every week. Hang out, play the games, comment, talk about the videos, whatever you want on the live show. It's just a celebration of this wonderful community. We're on our way to 200K. We keep getting closer all the time. So I'd like to thank all the new listeners, all the new patrons, all the new subscribers. Thank you for supporting WCBS. We wouldn't be here without you. Well, we're very grateful for that. So folks, thank you for watching. Head on over to StealingSolo.com now that the video's over and get yourself the greatest Star Wars parody since Spaceballs and answers the greatest what-if question of all time. What if a group of disgruntled Star Wars fans kidnap Harrison Ford and forced him to remake Star Wars in their basement? That and a whole lot more is answered in Stealing Solo, a captain's parody. You can only get that from me, Jeff Hicks, at StealingSolo.com. So folks, I'm going to get out of here. I'll be back next time with more. But in the meantime, be smart, be safe, be cool, but always be excellent to each other.